But at the same time, though, what is expensive to me may not be expensive to you and your life. Hola, you amigos. Me amo Shewao. Welcome to this channel. Today, I'll be talking about my first electrical bill living in Merida, Mexico. Vamanos, let go. All right, so before we get into it, make sure you like the video, comment down below, subscribe to the channel, all that good stuff. And we're just going to jump right into it. So my electrical bill, it looks like this. It's, it's a company called Commission Federal The Electric Group. Electrical and this is what it pretty much looks like it's green and white and on the back it gives you your consumer history it tells you how much energy you use from the previous months up to a year so and it's like a barcode back there to kind of give you an idea of like how much energy that you use within certain months and things like that which is pretty cool it comes rolled up or folded up like this and they will like literally put it under your door or they will um, put it near your mailbox or something like that, okay? I've seen people's <laughs> electrical bills just floating randomly, flying rather, like randomly in the street. So it's like, yeah, it doesn't come in an envelope like it does in the USA. So when I got my first electrical bill, I was really nervous because I heard a lot of horror stories from um, other aspects that would say, my light bill is high, it's expensive, I spent too much money and yada, yada, yada. So I was like really, really nervous. So what I did to reduce my bill um, or to try to help reduce my bill was I didn't run the, a the AC um, in the daytime. But when I moved to Merida, it was like in the so-called fall. It's always hot here, by the way. But in the fall, it's not as bad as the summer or the other seasons because it's just, it's, yeah. But anyway, it's not that bad when I came. So I kept the windows open. I have like screen doors and screens on the windows. So I kept everything open. And at night, I ran the air for a little bit. And anything I have like plugged in the, the wall or the sockets, I would take out if I was not using it. So those things helped me to get to my light bill. And I'm going to reveal. First, you need to drum roll. I want the light bill. Okay, my first light bill was 210, 210 pesos. Yeah, you heard me right. Okay, dos cien diez pesos. See, I'm trying to learn Spanish, right? So yeah, it was that much for, um, and, and let me just mention this too, because in uh, Merida, I don't know if it's in Merida or just like in Mexico in general, but this company gives the bill every two months. So it's bi-monthly. So 210 USD, that's about, I don't know. It's not even $5. It's probably like $7, something like that. Something around, depending on the conversion rate, a month. So that's what I pretty much paid the first month. And I was so nervous because I was like, oh my God, I don't want to have to pay anything high because we know how high electrical bills can be in the USA. But I mean, that was not bad at all. Now, when a summer comes rolling around, I'm going to be telling y'all probably, I'm, I know I will be telling y'all a different story. Because like I said, on the back of the like electrical bill, there's like these bars. There's like these bars or whatever. And someone was living in this apartment before I, I had. So I seen that they had to run the air pretty much. I'm pretty sure they did in the month of August and June. That was the highest um, from the previous renter. And... I mean, you gotta understand, you gotta run the air, you gotta run the air. It's 95 degrees now currently in Merida, like 95, 90 or whatever. And in the summer months, it's get, it gets to be like 130, something like that. So I know I'm gonna run the air and that's just, I know I am. I try not to run it. Um, right now I don't have it on because it's really, really loud and you guys won't be able to hear me that well. So I can't run the fan or the uh, the AC because y'all won't be able to hear me unless I get a mic. But that might also pick up on a mic. It might pick up on a mic as well. But so if you are a renter in the Merida area, most likely your electrical bill will be in your landlord's name instead of your name. You know how in the USA, the light bill is in your name. You have to pay these reconnected fees and connecting fees and things like that. Like in Merida, it's not like that in Mexico. At least it's not like that. You basically just pay the um, you, uh, pay for the energy that you use that month. You don't pay any other extra or whatever. But what I think, one thing I, I want to caution a lot of aspects on or immigrants, whatever term you prefer to use, um, 
is that um, when you're moving into a new apartment or something like that, make sure that you're not getting stuck with a previous the previous owner's bill. Now, some um, landlords, I don't know how every landlord works, whatever, but for my first bill, I actually didn't pay the full price because I wasn't there the whole two months um, because, you know, somebody else was here, so it wasn't fair to me to pay the whole bill, if you know what I'm saying? So the landlord was like, yeah, I'll pay half of it. So literally, it, my first bill would have been two chin, but because I had just moved there, she paid half and I paid the other half. So the next bill, um, I'll talk about that one as well. Um, that was my actual, my own watch, my own energy usage. But, um, yeah, so some owners, some rent uh, owners or people that you rent from, landlords, they would like probably get you know have you stuck with the bill even though you didn't you weren't living there those two months or whatever like that so y'all definitely take precaution regarding that and also another tip you want to make sure you check the meters and find out where's your meter your electrical meter be sure to ask the landlord or the property manager where's the previous bill and can you look at the previous bill and check the previous bill before you you know you design a lease or whatever let them know that you haven't been living there for too long will you be expected to pay the previous owner's um energy bill so that's something that definitely needs to come up um but i didn't have to have that conversation but i did have a conversation about the electrical bill because i wanted to see how much i was going to be paying if i'm going to be living here now my apartment is pretty small it's pretty much i guess you would say it's like it's like a studio or whatever so it's not really more like an efficiency studio. It's really small. I like my little small, tiny apartment. Um, it definitely helps with keeping the bill low as well as the other tips I told y'all, like, you know, unplugging things that you are not using and just like running the air only when it's like necessary. Like in the summertime, I'm probably going to be running it like a lot. Oh my God. See what I'm saying? It's just hot. Like. My second bill was 480. So that's about 20, 30 ish dollars USD. And that's for two months though. Cause their bills come every month, every other month. So it's like bi-monthly. That's when you get your bill. And um, yeah, I mean that's I mean you really can't beat that. Like <laughs> no complaints here. But I was scared, I'm not gonna lie, I was nervous because a lot of people say, oh, it's so expensive, it's so expensive, uh, the electrical is so expensive. And I'm like, okay. But at the same time though, what is expensive to me may not be expensive to you and your budget or whatever. But, um, and maybe these other aspects got stuck with people, other people's bills, or maybe they literally run the air 24 seven, or maybe some of them have bigger spaces too. So you gotta consider all of that when you're thinking about moving to an apartment or a house and stuff like that. Um, I only have one AC here, but I know if I move into a bigger place, the electrical bill is gonna be a whole different story. So <laughs> yeah, had to mention that. So where can you pay your bill? Well, it's several different options for you and they're located on the back of the bill. You'll see these different stores listed here. You have La Camer, uh, Soriana, Walmart, Seis, Six, <laughs> Circle K, 7-Eleven, Extra, um, Shalale, I think I pronounced that right, and many other stores. And of course, you can pay it directly um, at the CF, CFE um, place. place. If you see this symbol, if you see this symbol anywhere, um, see that? yeah that's where you can go to pay your bill and some people um i've heard that you can pay it at oxo and um but i don't recommend oxo because i've really heard some I heard some really hard, bad things about paying your bills at oxo like some people have said that their bill never got paid and gotta 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 just go to any of these stores here or just go to them directly now my current arrangement my uh landlord speaks english and spanish and she gives me the option to just pay her for it. And um, yeah, and that way I don't have to go. <laughs> She's just nice like that. So I'll just give her the money and she does it. But just make sure it's a person or a landlord that you can trust. You know, that make sure it's not a person that's going to be like, oh, you didn't pay me this. Always get your receipts, even when it's like a light bill or electricity bill. Electricity bill or a light bill, just make sure you always get your receipts um, when you're paying any bill.
But anyway, that is pretty much all I, have, all I have to say about this. But I'm going to make another video about this because I know in the summertime, my bill is probably going to be like, I'm estimating at about 600 to 700 pesos because like recently it's been hot in Merida. It's like been 95 degrees and we haven't, we ain't even hit July and August yet. Like it's, it's already hot. Like, so, but I know I'm going to be telling y'all a whole different story about how much the bill is and everything else once the summer comes. But I'm prepared for it or whatever, I'm prepared, but I have to run the AC. I don't wanna run it around, but it's just like I say, I, I don't wanna like run the air and y'all can't hear me and stuff, but it's not that bad. I'm anticipating it to go up in the summer and um, uh, July and August and, and those those particular months, I'm, I'm, I'm expecting that because I'm looking at the bar on the back of my bill and I'm seeing that the previous renter that's where they saw like a, the highest bill within those months. So I'm expecting it to, but I'm also expecting my next bill to be high as well. <laughs> okay, so I think I pretty much covered everything. Make sure you like this video, give it a thumbs up, comment down below and subscribe to the channel. And if you like more videos like this, uh, I don't really have a niche. I just want to talk about Mexico and my experiences in Mexico. And I'm turning the AC on right now. So y'all, I'll see y'all later. Bye.